What's up guys, it's Akimbo Zapguns bringing you another Neverwinter quest. This quest will be titled Clockwork Guild Tomb. Uh, it's a level 30 quest for, I'll show you right here, it's for this guy right here, Trist Christopher Chetabel. So let's get down to it. We have to enter the Clockwork Tomb. So let's get down to it. Let's not waste any time. Because quest gives you, gets you a crap load of experience. And money, of course. Look at these guys. I want to get off the horse and fight these guys real quick. Because I got these uh, daggers of death. This might not be the best idea because my companion is at training right now. But I think I'll be able to work. I think I'll be able to make it work. Ooh, let's see here. No, come on, 75% chance. If my second one breaks, thank you. <laughs> I was about to say that was that. Those were my only two uh, types of those kits right there. Let's go ahead and just bring up the daggers of death again. It's too easy. It's too easy, coach. I've been meaning to put one of those masks on. I keep selling them on accident. So I want to pick that one up and uh, put it on uh, whenever I'm done with this quest. Oh gosh. What is this? It said there was some like major boss or something. Oh, that's that dragon that I was talking about. I don't even have that quest on. I ain't trying to fight that thing. Who do I look like? A crazy person? I hate these things. Because they always... I'm just going to bring them up. They, they, they can hit you at long distance. And I, I'm i like, I should be, a, a, be like the only one that can do that. But these daggers of death from the ground just absolutely torches people. Good thing, good thing I found... Uh, I haven't been able I haven't uh, used a lot of potions recently and I do pick up quite the amount of potions in the quest so I got plenty of them bring up my daggers of death ooh what is that a smiting dagger I might pick that up and smiting dagger I could use some new boots too. I, I just I got one of those rings already. So let's enter the clockwork tomb approach. Uh, so let's do it. Got a new respawn point unlocked here. That's good. Got me some health. Got max health now. I don't have my companion. This might be tricky, but we got to defeat the Thyan wizard. That sounds fun. I want to keep my main attack for that uh, for that point in time. Those are actually pretty good to the uh, to sell to the merchants. So you get, you get like one silver from those. So I want to pick that up. What is this over here? You probably need some sort of kit. Yep. Oh, look at these guys coming out of the ground. I can get things coming out of the ground too, cub. Let's go. Daggers of death. <laughs> these daggers of death, man. Insane amount of damage. get my main attack going here because this, this guy's main attack is really slow he just I'll take a scroll you can always use scrolls of identifications enemies just like popping out of nowhere oh 
I brought them up. I didn't realize it. The brooches are not really worth taking up a spot in your inventory. They're only good for 70 copper. I think. I don't know. I don't know what that is. That looks interesting. Get rid of these guys. I don't need smiting boots. I think I see the main boss coming up here shortly. Come on, bring up my daggers of death. These guys are got these shields. I gotta attack them from below. The stealth mode on this class is really overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> You can do like 4,000, 5,000 damage at once in stealth if you play your cards right. Let's go ahead and finish this guy up. Ooh, a kit. Let's go. It's pretty. It's a pretty good drop, in my opinion. Protecting ring. I think I already have one of those too. Here, let's take a potion before we before we get up into this. Because this looks like the boss, if I have to say. Ooh, is that a potion? Nah. Those things are good for selling, though. Ooh, these guys had no idea where I went. And I'm just going to torture them from the daggers of death. Give me that money. Yeah, let's let this uh, five seconds until these things are good to go. Let my stealth get regenerated here because I think I'm about to enter the boss here. Yep, this is the boss. Because that said, that said something about a wizard up there. Plus, I can let's go ahead and use this. Plus, I can leave the area at the top of these stairs. Wow, this wizard was a lot easier than I expected. Wow. Maybe I just played my cards right, really. I like these fashionable, fashion jades things. So we, now we have to enter... Well, first let's get the, our rewards out of here. Ooh. Take all that. Now we gotta enter this tomb. All right, another campsite. I'm glad I did not take any potions because that would have just been a waste. So let's get max health here, easy as that. Uh, I'm assuming that this is probably a trap. Oh, nope, this is a plaque thing. So let's go over here and move the clock lever. Set the hour in the clock room. This is interesting. Start the second clock. Oh, finally some enemies. Come on, enemies. Get torched by my daggers of death. Here a while, I still got my daggers of death going. Let's go on in here and start attacking this wizard. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I was out of the range of that. Get this red wizard out of here. Let's go. I love the stealth mode. Another red wizard. Get out of that attack. Oh, it squacked me on my uh, thing. But that red wizard is gone. Ooh, that looks like a good little thing. 
set the hour. I wonder how many clocks we have to do this. Uh, do this too. So we have to come back to the f main clock. Okay, there, so there's a third clock here. Let's get some health real quick. Some free health. Before we start this third clock. I'm assuming there's only three clocks because it, there's not anywhere else we can go. Unless a secret, like, door pops up or something. I just did... Oh, I just got trapped. Look at that booby trap right there. <laughs> I was not watching where I was going. So let's disarm this. Ooh, there's a lot of skeletons. But the skeletons don't stand a chance on with this thing. Give me that jade. Where'd that jade go? Oh, I've already got it. The skeletons just don't stand a chance against my daggers of death. They just don't. What is this over here? To read the book? Mm. Not big into reading. <laughs> Disintegrated that man. These guys are easy to kill. Look at that. Like five throwing daggers. This place is huge. Oh, 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 oh. Look at me dodging and weaving. You got this guy, slow attack, bum here, so I should be able to hit him quite a few times. Ooh, a potion of lesser healing. Let's go. Let's get this red wizard out of here. Those are the most dangerous things up in this tower. Alright. That's done. What's over here? Treasure chest. Let's go. Oh, that's a fake treasure chest. Trick to me. <laughs> oh, man. That was funny. This thing is hard to kill, too. <laughs> Look at the tongue, bro. That's so funny. A treasure chest that's trying to kill you. Wow. That's funny. Good thing I found the potion of healing. Let's move on down here. I'm scared to open up any more treasure chest. Ooh, a thievery kit. Let's go. Bang. Bye bye, wizard. One hit in stealth mode, man. One hit. With my uh, big power, of course. Who is it? Let's bring up my daggers of death. Since we're here at the third tower, or clock, whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and use my main attack here. Um. I've got two seconds. If I can hold on two seconds, I, I can summon my daggers. Let's do it. Daggers of death. Just like that. Let them go to work. Let my health regenerate a little bit. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Where did they come from? They just be popping out of nowhere. I gotta go into stealth mode. Holy cow. Using all my attacks. Ooh. Come on. Come on, daggers of death. We're almost good to go. I got the big guy down. We need to get these arrows, arrow shooters out of here. Archers.
There are a, there's a lot of crap to loot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this just in case this is another. Tr uh, set the fourth clock. Hopefully, it's in the fake treasure chest. Oh my goodness! It's definitely not a fake treasure chest. I don't really need all those for real. I'll take the money though. A fourth clock. So let's go ahead and get some free health here. And I'm doing this all without a companion, which is quite incredible, in my opinion. Gotta open the doors to go into the fourth clock. Oh man. Look at all these enemies. Come on, daggers of death, help me out here. Get out of here with your shield bum. You're dead now. I don't have any more nature kits. Darn it. Ooh. Torch. Them. Look at these little monsters. Little monsters. They should know better. I got the daggers of death. Moving in here to the fourth tower. I don't like the looks of this. Set the hour in the clock room. Assuming that's through these doors, I guess. What is this? Holy Jesus, that's a jelly bob. What is this? That is like a jelly bob. I've never seen this type of enemy. Good thing I got these long daggers. I'm afraid to get close to this thing. Well, all right. That was fun. Thought I was going to get absorbed into that jelly. More door. That was just a hallway of death right there. We're in the clock room again. Is this thing like a big... This area, this place is so confusing. Set the fifth clock. Holy cow. This is insane to be doing without a companion. Uh, how many clocks could there possibly be guys I'm really curious there's a there's a wizard over there I want to be careful with that I wish I could move out there we go Wizard being quite no. Ooh, I got one of these though. Com combine everything, my daggers of death, and a main jewel attack. That took half of that. It just gave itself some more health, but it didn't matter. Ooh, I'll rank three. I gotta get that. You, you just can't.
my bread all right. all right let's hope this is not a fake computer uh, chest all right I'll take the money I don't care about the unidentified eye quest comes to a, a end shortly Send it out of text. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this. Go down to the lower level. This is a pretty long quest, I'm not gonna lie. Find the most ominous and poor tenorous hour. Both the darkest and the lightest and the greatest of them all. What am I? I have no idea. You have answered correctly. I should have known that, really. Because midnight and noon are both 12. Oh man, there's a lot of guys. Oh man. These, these guys has some venomous attacks up in here. Look how many skelly bobs there are. Holy cow. Boy. I'm getting too much. I'm getting too much for the, my money. I don't want to die. This is insane. Dang. Goodness, these scorpions. Stop, please. No! And what is it? Oh, that is like a dark again. queen. Your friend as well, I hope. <laughs> That is a huge spider. That is a huge spider. Holy hell. This is insane. I'm running. I gotta go get some more health. Look how fast these things are. I got to get some health. There's a campfire. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's, we gotta go t terminate this big spider thing. Let's do this. You old big spider hags. I think the best approach would be get rid of all these venomous spiders that are small first. Alright. The Tomb Queen. I'm ready for you.
I had a special big attack just saved up for you. You got a big old scrub. This thing's a lot easier than that dragon I tried to uh, defeat. Ooh, that took a lot of health away. Not gonna lie. It's too easy with uh with this dodge class. Yeah, it's trying it's trying to screw me over, but it just can't. Oof. Almost dead. Almost got it. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Let's clear out an inventory spot real quick. And get our reward. That's all we got? That is all we got? Are you serious? I'm pissed. I am pissed. That is all we got out of that. Two dark enchantments. Two dark enchantments. It, it took like 20 minutes. We gotta return to that guy now. I'm kinda glad that this quest is over. <laughs> Might as well fight these guys. Get them out of here. I'm gonna try to... Oh, I was gonna try to wait and get enough stealth to bring up my stealth daggers. But I guess the normal daggers of death will have to do. There's a lot of these guys. I just got done fighting a whole bunch of guys. Why must they have enemies all around me? <laughs> I'm so mad. Look at this. This is absolutely bizarre. I'm just going into sales mode so they stand there like dummies. Th look at this. It just cheesed me again. It just... The quest just switched to that. Wow. Why does it do that? I don't have 10 people. <laughs> Good thing I recognize that book. Have I told you I'm a Valinder escaped with Azazel? Perhaps it's time to visit my academic colleagues in Washington. I suppose you could consider the bright side. Now I don't really know what is happening with that stupid voiceover thing, Majuker. But as you can just see, we just finished that quest and we leveled up the uh, rank number 32 of 60. So this was a pretty long quest. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, smash that like button, and for more Neverwinter videos, hit that subscribe button.